All right, guys and girls, Will here from ZaltechReviews.com. Uh, today I'm taking a look at the Macheron Pacer. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I've got the white one here. Uh, I'll once we get into the review, I'll do a quick unboxing, show you what you get, blah blah blah. Then go through the specs of the watch and just the usual. Uh, play the intro. <laughs> Right then, I've got the uh, the tripod as high as it'll go and the actual camera itself zoomed out as far as it'll go so there's nothing else I can really do about that, right? Out of box then, just your normal cardboard Put that there uh, Inside, you've got this kind of fake leather Presentation box type thing. Open that up, and inside you have the watch, obviously, and all your paperwork and whatnot. Right, guys, uh, the price of these uh, 650 US dollars. You're getting something a bit unique. Uh, the full name of it is the Macheron Pacer Pulsometer. The reference to this one is 77000W. Uh, I'll go straight in. If I, I'll just go straight in with the specs. Uh, case diameter 41.7mm. Total thickness 13.4mm. Lug to lug 47.3mm and it has a 20mm uh, lug width. The total weight, as it is sized up for my 6 and 3 quarter inch wrist, is 153 grams. The movement inside it is one I've no used before. I don't think I've seen this one before. Uh, it's the Miyota 9132. 28,800 vibrations an hour, uh, 26 joules, I 26, no the normal 24, hackable self winding and it has a 40 hour power reserve. The case itself is brushed and polished, uh, it's polished on the sides, brushed on top, all matches very well, you can see there, bracelet matches the case, perfect. Um, I've not got my wee spotlight today. I think it's broken. May need to get another one. So I apologise if the lighting's not that great and it's causing a bit of shadows and all that. I'll try my best with the lights that I have got here to show you in a bit more uh, detail. Right, the bracelet's brushed and polished, uh, pretty much the same as the actual case itself, it's brushed on top, polished on the sides, uh, screw pins for sizing it up and whatnot, easy to size, uh, you've got half links as well. Is there? It says it on the website that they're supposed to be half links. I never got any half links. Anyway, I got a. I managed to get a perfect fit. And you've got the dreaded butterfly clasp. I fucking hate these things. Uh, mainly because there's no micro adjust. Um, just the usual butterfly with this. You've also got this wee flip lock type thing that goes over the top. Fuck's sake. There we go. Right. 
Oh, I'm no a fan of the clasp. Uh, a, a nice slim clasp with plenty of micro adjustment would have been better for this. And it's not exactly a cheap watch, $650. What's that, about £500? Just off the top of my head. £500. No, it's not cheap. Uh, as I say, I don't like the clasp. Uh, I'm just trying to rattle through this quite quickly. The bezel, it's brushed. And it has that kind of... I do like the bezel, actually. It's one of the best bits about the watch. I like the finishing on that. As you can see there. It's, it's lovely. Plenty of grip as well. The bezel's bi-directional too. And the insert... Oh, for fuck's sake, the lighting's crap. The lighting... Eh, the lighting. The markings, it's obviously a pulsometer. Didn't ask me how to work it, because I've no idea. Good review, as always. It's no something I would use. It's obviously, this watch is aimed at, like, doctors, nurses, maybe, um, athletes, that kind of thing. You know, checking your pulse. Hence the pulsometer. Uh, it's bi-directional. Nice action as well. It feels quite... What's the word? Muted. I don't think that's the right word, but that's what I'm going with. When you've got obviously the necessary Martins for taking your pulse and all that around there. I'm just trying to show it, see if I can get it in the light some way. Aye, they're all there. Stainless steel uh, insert, I like that. Looks good with a white dial. Talking to colours, uh, I'll just put that there now, you've got this white dial, you've also got a, a black dial with a black ceramic insert, I think it's ceramic on the black one, but you also have a black dial with a steel insert like this, so that's your three options. Uh, right, where was it? The Crystal's Flat Sapphire with underside uh, AR coating, I think there's about six layers, if I remember it serves me correctly. Ah, it does a good job, I didn't have any issues with wearing it in natural light and all that, with reflections and stuff like that, I thought it was fine. Uh, the dial on all models, the white or the black, uh, it's a matte dial, obviously this one being matte white, I do like it, and it is a pure white dial, it's not silver, it's not off-white, it's just nice, uh, nice crisp uh, white. Happy days. Uh, printed hour markers everywhere. It says on the website that this is a sandwich dial. I don't see how and where this is a sandwich dial, because all the indices, hour markers are printed that that. Uh, power reserve meters printed and so is the 24 hour subdial thing uh, to be honest with you oh you've got the date 3 as well uh, to be honest with you I wouldn't have bothered with the 24 hour subdial I think it's wasted uh, so can you imagine this dial without that subdial just I uh, keep the Power reserve thing at 12, fine. Don't mind it. It is handy. Um, but I will just delete that. I wouldn't bother with it at all. Uh, the hands are kind of batten shaped. No, they're not. They're fence post shaped. If you look at the ends, the tips. I'm squinting my eyes here trying to look at this thing with this. I think my normal light. I'll need to get another one. But I wanted to get a video out uh, at least this week. So I'm just trying my best with the two main lights that I've got. Anyway, you can see there. Uh, where am I? Fuck's sake. Oh, the lube. The lube on this isn't brilliant, but 
it's what you'd expect from a kind of sporty watch. I know it's not, well, it is a sports watch, kind of, but with the added benefit of being a pulsometer. The wound, it's applied well, but it doesn't last very long. Eh, very long. Uh, and it's C3BL, Swiss Super Luminova. Uh, water resistance is 100 metres. Perfect. It not need any more than that. Uh, case back is really nice as well, solid. Uh, screw down, and it's got that lovely pattern there, you see that? That's done really, really well, by the way, I've got to say. I do like that. Nice and smooth as well. Basic specs around the edge and that's what you'd normally expect. Uh, the crown, 6.5mm. Uh, screw down as well, by the way. Uh, I'll put it on my notes as signed. I don't think it is signed. I think it's just got that divot. Can he convex? Wait, I'll have a look with my... No, it's not signed. It's just got that convex can he that's convex in it aye it's nice though plenty of grip in that so I'm not getting any complaints for that uh, I've done through I've been through the colours this watch is available now it's no a kickstarter launch or anything like that it's available right now if you go to the link in the description it takes you to the landing page on my website for this watch uh and I will give you the as, as well as having this video embedded in it. I'll, I've also got the full spec listed, as well as as well as uh, where to buy it and a link to their website and whatnot. Warranty wise, two years. Lovely. Uh, I'll give a quick wrist shot before I go. Uh, wrist check. Oh Jesus, that's close. Wrist check, I'm wearing the Citizen Chronomaster. Love this watch. The detail on this is outstanding. The Saratsu polishing and all sorts of shit. Right, oh, right I better take that off, eh? That'd be handy. Right. Just talk amongst yourselves while I put this on. Now, it's quite a, well, it's a big watch for me. Oh, fuck's sake. This here's fucking butterfly class. When you've got a pair of gloves on. Fucking duck. Right, there we go. Aye, right, it's quite a big watch. It's uh, bigger than I would normally wear. 41.7mm uh, diameter. Uh, but the lug-to-lug's -lug, alright, it's just a shade over 47. It does fit my wrist, as you can see, there's no overhang or anything like that. Uh, sits nice and flat on wrist as well. Aye, it's nice. Wait, I'll zoom out a wee bit. Give you a better perspective. Aye. I do like it, I do recommend it. If this is what you're in the market for, a pulsometer, this is the best one I've seen. It's the only one I've seen. Uh, $650 though. I'm not sure about that. Anyway, it was just to let you see this one. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. All the usual bump that I see at the end of a video. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Toodles!